Sure, we've been waiting for this about two seconds after the first one. But did we really need it? Get your gold rings on, because on this week's 2 Minute Review, it's Sonic 2. Roll the clips! Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Over two hours for a kid's movie? That runtime was just atrocious. Sonic longs for adventure and heroics, but learns how to be a true hero when he runs into Miles, a two-tailed fox who idolized him. The new pals must find the Master Emerald and prevent it from getting into the hands of Robotnik and his new teammate, Knuckles. They could have easily cut 15 minutes off this movie, like the dance-off and the angry bride stuff, which is really unnecessary, and threw the mood off. But in some ways, I do get it. They kind of went overboard on the goofiness for the kids and sacrificed for some substance. The Tom and Jerry fallacy. Oddly enough, Jim Carrey was the most cartoonic out of all the characters. But a little too much is a little too much sometimes. Aside from the kidatrics, there were some things about this as an adult I couldn't quite comprehend. First of all, they need to establish their powers consistently. Like how fast or strong is everyone? And why doesn't Sonic use his speed to get out some sticky situations that should be of no trouble at all? But I can forgive them. The first one had a lot of goof as well, as well as some things that didn't quite make sense. But the great thing about this is that both of them had jokes for the adults too. But something about the second one just wasn't as clean or as coherent in the pacing. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. A lot of people, especially fans, love this movie more, but it does rely heavily on fandom, especially with the climax and the end credit. But if anything, it also relies on you watching the first one as well to really care about any of these characters. But if you have watched the first one, or you are a big fan, you'll get something worthy, because what remains here are great themes of friendship, family, as well as some new ones, like what it means to be a hero and reach out to others. Sure, it's not perfect, but there are some extremely great moments here that I think no kid should go without, all wrapped up in some solid action and CGI that will keep the adults and the kids entertained. And I'm a fan, so I guess I'll squeeze this one into the watch category. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. Welcome to the new norm.